Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 41, and this is war number 8. And we're going up against an alliance called Ghost Riders. Ghost Rider. Um, I think we've fought them before. Uh, let's see who they've banned. I hate you. Um, they banned Gallon. All right. Let's uh, see what they got for us on defense. Okay, yeah. Standard, standard. They ban Gallon, and then they line my path with some tech that have armor ups. Cool. Uh, but I have Namor. So I'll be bringing Namor for them. Uh, Man Thing, I called it. Uh, I'll be bringing Diablo for him. Um, I won't be taking Shuri. One of uh, my alliance mates will. And then look at all this tech. Uh, I'm going to bring, I could probably bring Claire, but I'm going to bring Nebula instead. Uh, Claire can also do it though. Yeah, Claire could do this, uh, path also, but I think I feel more comfortable with, uh, Nebula. All right, let's see. Boss Island. I think everybody has already taken these guys here. Okay, give you guys a nice little look around their defense. In case you needed some ideas for your own. All right, so I'm going to go in with Namor. El Diablo and uh nebula all right let's get on with the fighting all right so i'm going in with this team here diablo nebula and namor now let me tell you guys something we are in some dire straits right now we have to win this war Otherwise, we're going to go down to Platinum 3, which nobody really wants. All right, so I'm in super, super serious mode, and so is my entire alliance. We're boosting up. We're healing up. We're taking everything very, very seriously. All right? So one thing I did notice uh, or didn't notice when I was looking over the path that one of my alliance mates mentioned but they lined my path with tech champions. I hadn't really noticed that. You know, I was looking at the, you know, um, opponents and everything, but they're tech. You know, not that it made too much of a difference in who I was going to choose, but I found that interesting. So, first fight is Hulkbuster. He would have been Gallon Food. But that's okay. Uh, I'm still debating whether I should uh, take up Namor. Now, I want you to notice something about how I'm fighting here. I'm trying to do uh, not shallow evades. All right? I'm trying to do deep evades. See how far back I was when I did that? That's what I'm trying to do because I'm very, very afraid of the input situation. Uh, when it happens against Hulkbuster, that's usually it for my for my fight. So if I dash back and it doesn't move and I get hit by Hulkbuster's special, I can pretty much forget about it. Okay, so I'm playing it very, very, very carefully. And uh, we got it. Okay, I was also not playing around uh, with the boosts. As you saw. All right. So next up. Look who we have here. Do you guys remember in a previous war what happened to me? And this guy. So I've been waiting for him. Oh, yes. And I know now not to push him to a specialty. I cannot evade it. And into my block, it hurts a lot 
Uh, so anytime I fight him, I'm going to do my best not to push him to a special two. Uh, depending on who I'm fighting him with. Um, you know, if I'm fighting him with Ghost, that's a little different. You know, I could possibly push him to a special two and uh, phase it. So, but anyway, Namor took him down. What do you guys think? Is Namor worthy of taking the rank four? He seems to be doing the job just fine. Same as uh, Nebula at rank three. I don't know. Maybe when we start getting rank fives and stuff like that, maybe I'll start taking them up. I don't know. Uh, but anyway, uh, Diablo. El Diablo! He is my favorite for fighting man thing, especially on this note. Uh, I don't really have to do much. As you can see here, I'm fighting him somewhat uh, stun immune. You know, uh, just be making sure that I either try and do a re-parry, but just remembering that if I do parry, he's not going to uh, get stunned that first time. And I do like pushing him to a special two because it's so easy to evade. All right, now watch this here. Something I do while I'm holding it. That, right there. All right, so what I wanted to do, just to make sure, I wanted to get rid of that masochism and get it on cooldown. That's why I didn't fire my special three right away there. Just look at that damage. He's done. Fight's over, really. That's it. So, uh, but I know that when I fought Man-Thing before on that node, depending, and I couldn't remember whether the multiple uh, poisons would all get eaten up by the masochism or just one of them. I didn't want to take that chance. So just rather safe than sorry, but leave a comment if you know the answer to that, because I'm not sure. My, my gut tells me that the multiple poisons will be fine and it'll only remove one of them. But I've never tested that out. All right. Now, you guys uh, may remember, if you don't, go check on one of the previous videos uh, where I had to fight her on this node. And I had some input issues. I do not want to have input issues again. Okay, so um, you can see I'm putting in the combat regen. I don't get a chance to use it very often. Um, but it's useful. It's actually useful. Uh, especially with Nebula. Uh, you see the regen going right now? Uh, it's very useful with her because, uh, if I remember correctly, I'm not getting any willpower healing because she's, you know, immune. But look at that. I'm staying topped off. So just in case something happens, like that, for example. Woo! All of that. But look at my health. Look at my health, y'all. Yeah. That's Nebula. Took that like a champ. So, even with that, that was no input issue, by the way. That was just me uh, messing up. Still managed to take her down. Nebula is, is all that, man. Um, I'm still not sure if I want to take her to rank four, though. Um, I don't know. I mean, look, look what she's able to do at rank three. So, I, I don't know. But she definitely saved me some items, for sure. Uh, now, this one here, she's shock immune, so I don't have to worry about his uh, uh, armor ups giving me the shock. And once I get enough of her uh, shock charges built up, he's basically not going to be able to do much of anything. That glancing is really annoying. It is really annoying, let me tell you. Slows me down. And makes the fight longer. I hate it. But here we go. I'm at 20. So at this point, I really want him to fire that special. There we go. That's what I wanted you to do. 
And then I want to get to a special two. And then parry. And then da da da. Special two. Boom, boom, boom. Fight's over. Even if he had fired a special two, it wouldn't have mattered. So uh, I believe that is it for my participation in this particular war. Again, this is a must win for us or else we're going to drop all the way down to Platinum 3. All right, so in a minute, we will find out just whether we won or whether we're dropped to Platinum 3. Be right back. And we're back, and we won. We really needed this win, and the entire alliance went into super, super serious mode. And check this out. Since I have been with them, I believe that is the lowest defender kills we have had as an alliance, I think. That was a super human effort by the entire alliance. Kudos to everybody, man. Oh, my goodness. Uh, and you see our MVPs? Shout out to them. Awesome. Anyway. Uh, that is going to do it guys. Uh, Ooh, you know, I just noticed that. Yeah. See, look at that. We, we dropped down to tier three. So we really needed this win. Um, but anyway, take care, hit the like button. If you enjoyed it, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. We also need to win the next uh, war as well. Anyway, have a blessed day.